I am Teacher Will, and welcome to our general mathematics subject. For today's video lesson, we will learn to evaluate functions. Let's start. Finding the value of x for most of you think is what mathematics is all about. Sometimes it seems to be a joke for you to evaluate an expression just like what is shown by this illustration. Find x and here it is. There. If you want to learn how to find the value of y, well then, you are on the right video. Welcome to your second module. Before we begin, let's try this activity. Do you still remember? Yes. Given the following expression, find its value if x is equal to 3. Okay, try natin number 1, x minus 9. So let's, um, to find its value, let's substitute or replace the variable x into 3. Yes. So we have... 3 minus 9, and that is equal to negative 6. Okay, number 2 naman. Ayan. 3x plus 7. Let's replace the variable x with 3. 3 times 3 plus 7. That will give us 9 plus 7 equals to 16. Next, in number 3 naman. Yeah. We have x squared plus 4x minus 10. Let's replace variable x with 3. We have 3 squared plus 4 times 3 minus 10. And that will give us 9 plus 12 minus 10. And that is um, 21 minus 10 equal to 11. Ayan. So, ganun na kasimple. Ayan. Kung sa tingin ninyo, kayang-kaya nyo itong process na ginawa natin dito, then this module will be easy for you. Function comes with different form. And before tayo mag-proceed sa discussion natin, review lang muna natin itong mga iba't-ibang types of function na may encounter natin in this module. Okay? Cut. Constant function. Ayan. Pag sinabi natin constant function, it is the function that has the same output value no matter what your input value is. Ayan. So, constant lang po siya lagi. Kahit ano pa yung input mo, always same lang yung output natin. Next naman is identity function. The identity function is a function which returns the same value which was used as its argument. Ayan. So, kung anong pa yung ginamit natin input, yun din ang lalabas na magiging output natin. Same value lang sila lagi. Kaya siya ginawag na identity function. Ayan. And itong polynomial function naman, I know, famili very familiar kayo dito. At meron tayong tatlong klase ng polynomial function. We have the linear function, wherein um, the degree is 1. We have the quadratic function, wherein the degree is 2. Then, cubic function where our degree is 3. Ayan. Then, power function naman natin, it has this form, ax raised to b, wherein b is constant. Actually, parang itong mga polynomial function natin is like a power function as well. Ayan. Rational function, exponential function, logarithmic function, which will be discussed later on. We have the absolute value function in this form, and we have the greatest integer function, which is in this form. Yeah. Let's proceed with our discussion. The function notation y is equal to f of x tells you that y is a function of x. If there is a rule relating to y to x, such as y is equal to 3x plus 1, then you can also write this. Yeah. So, yung y natin is equal to f of x. So, we can also write y is equal to 3x plus 1 as f of x is equal to 3x plus 1. Yan. So, yung name ng function natin ay f. So, other letters ay pwede rin pong gamitin as name of function. Pero yung pinaka-common na talaga na ginagamit natin is f, sometimes g, 
and h. And so yung input natin is represented by x and the output is represented by e f of x. And again, this represents the value of our function at the number x. So, ano nga ba ang evaluating function? Evaluating function is the process of determining the value of the function at the number assigned to a given variable. At this case, uh, our variable is x. Okay, so let's have some examples para mas naitindihan natin kung paano mag-evaluate ng function. Let's have example number 1. Given f of x is equal to 2x minus 4, find the value of the function if x is equal to 3. So our task here is to determine the value of this function at 3. So, paano po yun? Kailangan lang natin i-replace yung variable x natin ng 3. Tanayin po natin. So, f of 2 yung hinahanap po natin. f of 2. Bali, i-replace lang po natin yung x natin sa ating function ng 3. We have now 2 times 3 minus 4. And let's perform the operation. Siyempre, 2 times 3, that will give us 6, then minus 4. 6 minus 4 is 2. Yeah, so yung value ng function natin at 2 is 2. Another example, given g of x is equal to 3x squared plus 7, find g of 3. Ayan, so we have here a polynomial function or a power function. So let's um, find the value of this function at 3. Ayan. So, replace lang po natin yung ating variable x ng 3. So, we have Ayan. So, replace po natin dito ha. 3 times 3 squared plus 7. Ayan. Then, let's perform the operation or just simplify the expression. Siyempre, by PEMDAS, mauuna po muna natin yung may exponent. So, 3 squared is 9. Yeah. Then, multiplication, 3 times 9 is 27 plus 7. And the answer is 34. Yeah. So, ito na po yung value ng ating g of 3 or the function at 3. Another example. Example number 3, given p of x is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 2, find p of 0 and p of 1. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin lang po nito, ahanapin po natin yung value nitong function natin at 0 and at 1. So, try po na muna natin ang p of 0. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, ang i-replace po natin sa variable x natin ay 0. So, we have 3 times 0 squared plus 5 times 0 minus 2. And perform the operation. 0 squared is still 0 times 3 is 0. Plus 5 plus times 0, we have still 0. Then minus 2. 0 plus 0 is still 0. Minus 2, that will give us negative 2. So, ito na po yung value ng ating P of 0. Next, let's evaluate this uh, function when um, x is equal to 1. Let's replace 1 to our variable x. We have 3 times 1 squared plus 5 times 1 minus 2. And simplify the expression. 1 squared is still 1 times 3 is 3. Plus 5 times 1 is 5 minus 2. Okay. 3 plus 5 is 8 minus 2. That will give us 6. Ayan. So, yung P of 1 po natin is 6. Ayan. So, ganun lang. Another example. Given F of X is equal to 4X plus 8 all over 2X minus 4, find the value of the function if X is equal to negative 5. Ayan. So, uh, to evaluate this function, Kailangan lang natin i-replace, again, yung mga variable x natin to 
negative 5. We have 4 times negative 5 plus 8. Yes. All over 2 times negative 5 plus 8. Okay. Perform the operation. 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 plus 8. All over 2 times negative 5, we have negative 10 plus 8. Then, let's add negative 20 plus 8. That will give us um, negative um, 12. And negative 10 plus 8, that will give us negative 2. Yeah. And negative 12 divided by negative 2, that is negative uh, positive so f of negative 5 is equal to 6. Another example. f of weight f of x is equal to 2 raised to x if x is equal to 3 halves. Ayan. So, substitute ng ulit sa ating x. We have... Mm -hmm. 2 raised to 3 halves. Ayan. So, to, to simplify that, we all know that that is equal to square root of 2 raised to 3. Ayan. 2 raised to 3, that will give us square root of 8. And to simplify that, um, factor lang natin yung 8, we have 4 times 2. At yung 4, perfect square naman po yan, that will give us, dito na natin sulat, 2. Square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 2. Ayan. So, this is the answer. Ayan. So, ganun lang naman siya ka simple. Just replace um, all the variable on your function or on the expression on your function by the assigned fact. Then, perform the operation. Just simplify the expression. Then, then the result will give us the um, value of our function. Alright, so it's your turn to try by yourself on how to evaluate function. Ayan. Ayan, so may mga guides naman na dito. Ayan, just fill up the missing parts of your of the solution. Okay? Alright, so that would be all for our lesson for today. See you on our next video. Bye!